So looking here at a plastic larynx with some rubber muscles as well, what we can see, we've got an anterior point of view here, so we can see we've got a thyroid cartilage here. And there are a couple of features that you need to know on the thyroid, but they're just, ba basically, if it's pinned anywhere apart from the horns, you just say thyroid cartilage. But here on the lateral side, we have an, an inferior horn and a superior horn. So they're visible both posteriorly and laterally. But anywhere else, if it's pinned on there, you just say thyroid cartilage. Uh, notice here that we've got, just above the thyroid, we have the epiglottic cartilage. Now, I haven't specified the cartilage on your PRAC list, um, so this is not actually really the epiglottis, it's just the cartilage skeleton of it, but if it were to be pinned, you can just say epiglottis, that would be fine. Superior to that, we have the hyoid bone. There's no thyrohyoid membrane on this model, so we can clearly see the epiglottic cartilage there in between. But what we can see going from the thyroid cartilage up to the hyoid bone is the thyrohyoid muscle. So that's it. We can see all of it there. There's nothing in front of it to get in the way. So that's it there. Inferior to the thyroid cartilage, we have the cricoid cartilage. It's short at the front. And remember, it's much taller at the back. So this is all um, cricoid cartilage here, covered by a muscle here at the back. Now, from a posterior point of view, we can see the tracheales muscle here, inferior to the larynx, and some C-shaped cartilages. We can see the first four there. We can see them from an anterior point of view as well, of course. Um, if we tilt the, the, the model up this way, we can see here that we have some other cartilages. I'll just zoom in a bit so you can see a little more clearly the dividing line there that separates them. So there's a little cartilage here on the back that you don't need to know the name of, but here we have the arytenoid cartilages. So they're here left and right. And note that they're attached to this. Now this is actually technically the vocal ligament, but when that's covered with a membrane, we call that the vocal fold. So if that were to be pinned, I'd be very happy if you said vocal fold. Um, and what happens, of course, is if you move your arytenoid cartilages, the vocal folds open. So if someone was breathing really hard, that's how it would be. If someone was yelling, it might be something more um, like that. If someone was talking, it would be fairly thin opening there. And if someone's whispering, it would be very, very thin indeed. But if someone's holding their breath, then the cords will be adducted and completely shut. Okay. I think that's everything we needed to see on there.